If you're anything like me, you'll have many wireless charging coils around your lab for various different standards. They likely entered your lab adorned in well-labeled packaging, but perhaps the coils were having a little too much fun in the lab and the well-labeled packaging that was once their home is nowhere to be found. What if you have an ADP3450? How are you going to figure out this coil inductance? In your new waveform workspace, open a new wave generator window. Generate a 1 kHz sine wave with a 1.5 volt amplitude. Connect your probe to channel 1 of the wave out section and a probe on the first channel of the oscilloscope section. Open a new oscilloscope window, connect your generator to your oscilloscope, then make sure that both the generator and the oscilloscope are running. Click measurements on the oscilloscope and add peak to peak. Find the through hole resistor with a known value. If you have a multimeter with a resistance measurement capability handy, feel free to measure your resistor to get a more accurate reading. Connect the resistor between the ground clips and the probe tips of your oscilloscope and wave generator. Now you can observe the peak to peak voltage on the oscilloscope and make a note of it. Mine was 0.65 volts. You have now created a voltage divider with the resistance of the ADP3450 along with the probes on the one side and your known resistor on the other side. Calculate the internal impedance by using just a regular voltage divider equation. In this case, my R2 is 100.2R, that's the measured value. V1 is 3 volts, that's my peak to peak, and V2, I've just measured it to be 0.65 volts. So I get R2 equals 400 ohms. Now you can replace the resistor with one of your stray coils. Observe the change on the oscilloscope. Most wireless charging coils will have an inductance value in microhenries, so you should see the voltage drop to millivolts. On the signal generator, increase the frequency until the peak-to-peak -peak voltage on the oscilloscope is half of the original input. So if the original input was 3 volts peak-to-peak, -peak, for example, find the frequency where the peak-to-peak -peak is now 1.5 volts. I found mine at 3.51 megahertz. You could actually probably write a script to automate this, but I did mine manually. And now you can finally calculate the inductance using the resistance value that we calculated previously, which was 400 ohms in this example, and the frequency that we've just found, which was 3.51 megahertz in my example as well. I calculated my coil inductance to be 10 microhenries. All right, so let's test it. There are tons of different wireless protocols out there. This one is Qi, which is the most widely used wireless charging protocol. So I'm just gonna test it with an IKEA Qi charger, just a standard one and see if it works. It works. So you can now repeat that with any stray coil you have in your lap. Read my blog to find out a little bit more about the theory behind this.